great surprise that a Republican president is good news for all our men and women in uniform. Whether that be law enforcement, military or first responders. Not only do conservatives tend to trust those in uniform and have their backs, they put our money where their mouth is and send more funding in the direction. It's not that there's any more money to spend when conservatives are in office. In fact, the GOP are the ones that like to pass out the biggest tax breaks. It's that the prioritization chart gets rearranged and military and law enforcement gets bumped further up. While the left would like for you to forget the extremely limited scope that the federal government has in what they tasked to oversee, police and military are one of, if not the most important. Unfortunately, we've suffered through the better part of a decade with our president handing out money to anyone and everyone who declined to work. And what money did go to law enforcement and weapons were often sent to our enemies and to protect illegals in sanctuary cities. But not any longer, according to the Washington Times. Law enforcement says that President Trump is not only a friend to them, but is actually saving lives with the measures he's taking to make sure they have everything they need to do their job safely and efficiently. Top law enforcement leaders say they have had no bigger advocate this year than President Trump. And they're hopeful he has set the stage for fewer dangerous confrontations between officers and the public, better equipped departments and, ultimately, reductions in crime. Early signs are encouraging. Line of duty deaths, including fatal shootings of police officers, are down this year. Preliminary reports from major cities indicate that crime increases reported in the past two years are subsiding. The Justice Department's new focus on policing results has also toned down tensions between the federal government and local agencies. Meanwhile, racially tinged standoffs between police and the public have dissipated. It stands to reason that if a group of people are going to offer to die for another group of people, the second should be the biggest advocate. Imagine a world with no law enforcement. It would be a world with no laws and might would make right and we all know that's not the kind of world we want to live in. The question you might be asking is, how does the president being in pro-law enforcement make a difference? Well, not only did the funds allocate to equip them to make their jobs much easier, but the lesser known rules that they have to go by and communication between local and federal law enforcement becomes easier, despite the occasional tiffs with federal law enforcement and intelligence agencies, Mr. Trump has steadfastly praised the work of local police departments, providing a much-needed boost in morale for officers across the country. Arguably the most significant thing a president can do is use the bully pulpit to reflect his support for law enforcement, said National Fraternal Order of Police Executive Director Jim Pascoe. To this point in his presidency, he has certainly gone out of his way to do that. That resonates within the profession. And it's received very favorably. Police said one big change is Attorney General Jeff Sessions' curtailment of a favorite Obama era tool. Court approved consent decrees to force reforms on local police departments. Departments that face questions about officer misconduct or use of force felt they were being pushed into consent decrees that last for years at considerable cost. Chief Tom Manger president of the major cities chiefs association said police forces were willing to work with the justice department but felt the relationship had turned one-sided we were frustrated toward the end of the obama administration with the justice department and some of their decisions with regard to consent decrees and how they were dealing with individual police departments they were reviewing or investigating said chief manger who also leads the Montgomery County Police Department in Maryland, he said there is still federal oversight, but it's less combative. In the case of this administration, not only are they working harder with law enforcement to get their job done in the least violent way possible, 
But the tone that the Trump cabinet has set has made the entire job that local police do easier. Gone are the days of, if it feels good, protest about it, and the payoff for those who would break laws to make a statement has been so much harsher that it's not so much worth their while. This makes the job of those boots on the ground much easier. Mr. Pasco said clashes between police and protesters at demonstrations have also slowed in recent months. People who otherwise might feel empowered in making these attacks see far less empathy and support from authority figures than they may have in the past, he said. Among the more traditional measures of public safety, the numbers are trending in the right direction. The